I've always straightened my hair by a chemical process called silky straightening for many, many, many years because I just didn't like my my curly hair. <laughs> so uh, this last time I straightened my hair was like maybe a year and a half or so and it's been the curlies are coming back I don't know if you can see it it's like all these curls are coming back of course I haven't put anything in it no products or nothing at all so it looks kind of frizzy but I, I was thinking maybe I should grow my, my curls back what do you think? Give me an idea. Should I? Should I not? I mean, if I put some products in it, would it look better? Or should I straighten it? But I think I'm going towards the more natural way. No, I'm not letting my hair go gray. I am not there yet at all. <laughs> but curls, maybe. why I'm sitting outside because it's so blistering hot but I just like to have the fresh air the outside even inside I in early in the morning I open the windows just to get some fresh air it must be a psychological thing where I need to have fresh air <laughs> a couple of days ago Michael was telling me well I went on the scale of didn't like what I saw. How about if we go on a diet and eat well and lose some weight? Because we did that a while back and we lost a bunch of weight. Both of us needed it. So anyways, I thought, okay. One of the ways I do that is by making salmon and veggies and salads for lunch. And then we make a, you know, weekly meal out of it yeah it's kind of boring eating the same thing for five days in a row but it makes the cooking life easier it also really low calorie and high nutrition values so today i get a text from him while he's golfing he says make a big pot of rice <laughs> like hello what happened to to our diet plan and it's oh screw that i'm gonna make some fried rice so Okay, fine. I've already defrosted some salmon and I don't want to make it go to waste. I will make that too. Hopefully, we're going to give away most of it like we normally do because his fried rice is pretty popular. Everybody likes it. But it's a little bit spicy and it's got a good kick and flavor to it. So, fine. Let's do that. fried rice that Michael will be using are other than the big pot of rice it is uh, onions and jalapenos I know they're red but for some reason mine in the garden are red but they taste the same green onions peas carrots soy sauce hoisin sauce fish sauce oyster sauce and spam there is really no need for salt or pepper because you know between soy sauce and spam we got plenty of salt going on this is 
soy. Special fried rice. Yep, my special fried rice with spam. It's spicy and delicious. Share it with the neighborhood. figured before it gets too hot I'm going to plant one of my uh, cactus plants that I've been wanting to plant in the ground forgive the way I look right now this is my gardening look <laughs> hair up all ugly Ugh. my poor plant got knocked over by the wind I suppose I better pick it up think this is gonna happen I'm gonna need my auger that ground is hard and sometimes it just doesn't want to start so should I wait until Michael comes but I'm gonna give it a shot anyways out of breath at least I tried I knew it was gonna give me hell but at least now I know that I've given it a good shot Michael did it he got it to start and we still couldn't dig a big enough hole to fit my plant it's just such hard clay here that I think I would have killed the poor plant even if it's a cactus which means I have to find a different area for it this is just not good enough today I'm trying to get this cactus into this hole it has taken me at least half an hour to dig this far I need to dig it just a little bit more get poked by all all the thorns so I got a towel hopefully that should do it we shall see Some good soil 
with its native soil and hopefully it will take One of the things I felt like I needed to do was to downsize on my on my plants. When I'm in Hawaii, I worry so much about my poor plants. So I decided to rehome a few of them just because I'm not here to take care of them and the thought of losing them while I'm in Hawaii, such precious plants, it just kills me. A couple of them are gonna go to a new home today. This is one of them, it's my green epi. Ironically, this is one plant that grows all over the trees in Hawaii. So she's gonna go to a new home, a good home. And the other one that's going to go is this baby right here. It's got a strange name, 69689, something like that. And it's a big one. I've had it since it was just a little petting. But I'm so glad that somebody else can love it. I'm also going to uh, water down this area in my greenhouse just to create a steam because it's so hot it's like 113 degrees right now can you believe it who's gonna do this when i'm not here it kills me oh it's so humid here isn't she so pretty maybe just fine Love you. And this is the other one that's gonna go to another home. Isn't she so pretty? I love you too. San Diego for 45 years but never had the opportunity to see wild turkeys until I moved to Ramona. It was absolutely delightful to have them around and see them walking in groups on the golf course near us or walking in the streets. They will be roosting in these trees over here. See? There. evening they start going towards a wooded area nearby and one by one they roost up into the trees to stay safe from predators like coyotes, wild cats and foxes. I have been wanting to watch them roost up in the trees but always had my timing wrong until this night. We were coming back from a golf cart ride in the golf course and got lucky and spotted them getting ready to roost. It's so fascinating to watch them all go to the same place every night. When we think turkeys, we usually don't think of them as flying birds, but yes, they do. One interesting fact is that when their chicks or pouts hatch, moms stay on the ground at night with them while the fam family member watches over them. This goes on until the chicks are about two weeks old and then they too fly up into the trees to be protected. 
I find myself always counting the chicks to make sure they haven't become victims of predator or a natural consequence. I just want them to thrive. I love these giant birds so much and feel so lucky to be able to share the neighborhood with them. Hope you enjoyed seeing how these uh, turkeys roost as much as I did. I wanted to say thank you so much for choosing to spend your time watching my video. I want you to know that I truly appreciate it. Wherever you are and whatever it is you do, I truly hope that you have peace in your soul and love in your heart. I'll see you in my next video, which will be in Hawaii.